1976 Chevy Corvette. Growing up, there was a neighbour across the road that had a nice noisy blue one. I, I remember seeing it for the first time. He drove out of his garage and that noise just made me look out the window and all he did was take it around the block. He loved it, cared for it, looked after it and I thought one day I want one of those. And I googled it and it happened to be a Corvette. I think it was about a 68. It was one of the desirable models with the chrome at the back. But he had the targa off. He did a lap around the block, put it straight back into, into its little shell and, and uh, took off for the day. I wasn't intending on buying this car. Um, I, I was on Lloyd's auctions and I, I was shopping around and one Saturday Arvo I got roped into the auction and got a bit too emotional about the cars going and this came up and I, I missed out on the bid originally and then I got a phone call two minutes later and I got swept away and got it. My little boy, uh, he, he, he says regularly, I love Daddy's green car most. And he, the first time he sat in it was just gold. He looked straight away at the steering wheel and realized it was on the wrong side. And that just made me laugh, but he, he loves the car. He's gonna be a little car head himself. He's only three years old, but he, he's obsessed with the car more than I am. The shapes and the curves, you don't see them on modern cars. The front ends the way it comes up and scoops up and then comes nice and, and, and through the middle comes in thinly and then straight back out. It's an architectural design for me, you know. I'm big on architectural design. This thing, you cannot replicate these days. They just don't do it. So that's one of the things I love about the car, obviously the Targa, being able to take it off and, and then put it back on when I want, so that flexibility. And just the sheer sporty muscle about it, you know. It's got that, that real muscle sportiness about the car. So. So there's a few things I've done for the car. Uh, one of the first things I needed to do was get some uh, new decals on the dash. The dash was just worn out and uh, you couldn't see anything. It was still in uh, miles per hour. So I got some really nice um, decals from the States, white ones, so at night you can see it better. Uh, the other thing is, I'm a musician and, and sound's very important. So with the big engine being so loud, uh, I've upgraded the sound system. It came with two speakers originally in the front dash. You couldn't hear a thing when you're driving, even at, at you know, 50 kilometers an hour, you could not hear the sound. Uh, so I got a custom auto sound Corvette uh, stock looking uh, MV3 player that has Bluetooth built in, put a nice ticket sub in with a nice amp, and uh, I've got eight speakers in it now with a nice sound bar at the back. So it sounds big for me. It's a 350 V8, it does its job. I like the originality of it. I like putting myself back in time with the car itself and, and going back to simpler engines.